teachers and students. In this experiment, I'm going to mix a solid and a liquid. The solid is yeast that we use in baking, and the liquid is hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide is a clear liquid. It looks just like water, although it's not the same as water. But its formula is similar. Water is H2O, and hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. Now when I mix these two together, the solid and the liquid, they will together form a gas. So we're going to do some experiments with that gas to see what it does. And you can see it rising up and bubbling like crazy. I'm going to light my candle here because I need flame for this. The bubbles are almost all the way to the top. Now I'm going to use one of these uh, wooden splints to pop some of those bubbles and that will release the gas that's in there. I'm going to take a dry splint and light it on fire. And once I do, it'll start to glow orange on the end and I'll blow it out and it relights. And notice when it relights, it changes from a yellowish orange flame to a bright white flame. And it happens over and over and over again. What's happened is the yeast is causing the hydrogen peroxide to release the oxygen. And the gas that is formed in here is pure oxygen. The air that we're breathing is about 20% oxygen. If it was pure, we'd get really dizzy. It wouldn't be good for us to breathe pure oxygen. But this is 100% oxygen in that gas. So when I put in the wooden splint that's glowing on the end, there's so much oxygen that that ember can burst into flames. And notice that what it does, it's a white flame that's very bright because it's burning pure oxygen. Let me see if there's any more in there. And notice the color of the flame here, yellowish orange. And then it burns bright white down inside. So I make pure oxygen out of yeast and hydrogen peroxide, a solid and a liquid making a gas. How many times can you get that to relight? I saw a student one time do this 100 times by producing so much oxygen that that kept relighting over and over and over again. In this experiment, we're working with hydrogen peroxide. Now hydrogen peroxide not only looks like water, its formula is very similar but these are very different chemicals. Water is H2O. It has two hydrogens and an oxygen. But hydrogen peroxide has an extra atom of oxygen, making it H2O2. So what we're looking at here are two molecules of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. When we add the yeast, it breaks apart. And what we're left with are two molecules of water, H2O and we're left with two extra atoms of oxygen, which forms an oxygen molecule, O2. Notice that we started with a total of four hydrogens and four oxygens, and when we finish, we have the exact same amount. So the gas that formed inside the cylinder was that pure oxygen, O2, and that's why the flame burned so well. How many times can you get the wooden splint to relight? <laughs>